This program does not represent the views of this station and may be considered offensive to some listeners. This program may contain mature subject matter, including frank discussions of controversial topics. It is intended for mature, open-minded audiences. Discretion is highly advised. This program is entirely independently produced by and is copyrighted by Frank. It is broadcast here under license. You're listening to Frank Talks Pleasures and Lifestyles. And I'm Frank because I have to be. We have part two of our interview with Ronnie Naughty Lady, a professional escort. She's been great enough to come back to our studio. I heard that my uh, first interview generated a lot of interest, and it's, uh, it's a pleasure to uh, participate in part two. And a lot of interest it was when people found out that I had interviewed a professional escort. Um, the questions were were incredible. They just they couldn't get enough of you, and uh, <laughs> I've had to start handing out CD copies of your first interview to people who really just wanted to sit down and listen to that show. So uh, you have become a mini celebrity here on Frank Talks Pleasures and Lifestyles, and we're actually wonder it's wonderful you're back. You are the very first person to come back in studio. Woohoo! So Ronnie, you're my first. <laughs> Uh, and given the there's nature, there's so much that I could say in response to that. I think I'll just smile knowingly and bat my eyelashes. Oh yes, and you do that so well. And without further ado, let's get back to the interview, Ronnie Naughty Lady. One of the things that uh, we normally do in the first uh, ten minutes of the interview segment to just go over again a little bit about your past, uh, similar to what we had discussed last time. Just so, again, we can reestablish our audience and get them familiar with you again. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to get reacquainted with the lovely Ronnie Naughty Lady. Ronnie, why don't we start off again uh, where you were born, how you grew up, and uh, the events in your life which eventually took you to the world of professional escorts. In other words, what's a nice, intelligent girl like me doing with a career like this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure some people out there might be using that type of uh, vocabulary, uh, but if it helps put you in the right frame of mind, okay. Well, um, I was born here in Montreal, grew up here. Um, as I stated on the previous show, my parents divorced while I was in elementary school, uh, just like most of my friends. Um, I graduated from CJEP. Um, had a selling career. I was doing quite well. Uh, was making a, a significantly higher than average uh, income. I was making about fifty thousand dollars a year, and I suffered a very severe burnout. And uh, I went on unemployment insurance, and the unemployment insurance ran out, and I was in no physical, mental shape to go back to work. I was still fried. And um, I applied for welfare, but I quickly realized that there was much too much month at the end of the money, and that just added to my stress levels. Uh, so I went and tried to find work. I got fired from four jobs in one year. Bosses, as I said last time, they just don't understand the need for afternoon naps. Uh, after uh, working on and off for that year, uh, I was eligible for unemployment again. I went back on unemployment insurance. Uh, again, as uh, my last weeks were approaching, I still, was, I still wasn't well. I still wasn't in a physical or mental state to be able to handle working a regular full-time job. Uh, so I started looking at alternative types of employment. Uh, I accepted a job working on the internet in a studio doing live uh, sex chat. And uh, while I was doing that, uh, I found a book called uh, A Guide to Sex Work for the Interested and Intrigued, which I bought because of the chapter on the internet. But when I read it, there was a chapter on escorting, which... Uh, broke a few myths and started me thinking, I could do that. 
And so I called a few agencies. I started working for agencies for a few months. Uh, and then I decided to go on my own and work. I've been working independently ever since. And just to reiterate, this is something we discussed in our first show. Um, what are you, what are some of the main differences between the internet sex chats and when you're working person in person as a professional escort? The first thing that I, I noticed uh, personally was that I get treated with a lot more respect as an escort than I ever did online. Uh, maybe it's the anonymity of, of the, the men who would log on that made them feel that uh, they didn't have to treat me uh, respectfully or possibly was the fact that I was just an image on a computer screen. I wasn't flesh and blood. Um, could have been a combination of that. Uh, could have just been that it attracts a different clientele. I, I'm really not sure as to the reasons why, but I, uh, as an escort, I get treated with a lot more respect. That That is first and foremost. You're listening to Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles. We're in studio today with Ronnie Naughty Lady. So hold on to your hats because we'll be right back after this. Frank Talks is sponsored in part by Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, a man's guide to the emotional needs of women. Ladies, do you want the man in your life to understand you on your level? Do you want your man to be able to listen to and address all of your emotional needs? Show him how much you really want your relationship to be the best it can be. Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test makes the perfect gift. The book written by a man, for men, is endorsed by every woman that reads it. This book is a guide for men to understand exactly what a woman means when she speaks. Is that worth changing your life forever? Buy this book at franktalks.com now. From Loser to Seducer is the story of Frank B. Kerman. This book marks the triumph of a nice guy over most of his inner demons. This includes going from being a loser to managing five lovers at the same time, his first Valentine's Day with two women at the same time, and getting back the one that got away. Want to learn how you can change your life? Buy this book at franktalks.com. Frank Talks is sponsored in part by the book, I'm a Man, That's My Job, The Philosophy of a Seducer. Ladies, have you ever wondered where all the real men have gone? Do you turn to your woman friends because you cannot find a true man in your life? Do you want the man in your life to step up and know what it means to be a man that can make you feel like the woman that you are? Are you tired of mothering the men you date? Give these boys the gift of manhood. The book, I'm a Man, That's My Job, teaches men to create their own seduction persona personal inner game, and how to take the lead in a relationship. Buy this book now at franktalks.com. You're listening to Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles. And I'm Frank because I have to be. We're continuing with our interview with the lovely Ronnie Naughty Lady, a professional escort. She's here in studio. And uh, I hold here in my hand here, Ronnie, a little booklet that looks like a manual in both English and French called Dear Client, and it's a book uh, on sex work, specifically for the client of sex workers. I'm going to read a couple of passages uh, just so our listeners here can get an idea. Dear Client, this guide was written for you, a client of sex workers. It was produced under the direction of Stella by a group of people working in the sex industry. The advice in this guide does not attempt to influence you to commit illegal acts or to do things that could harm your health or that of other, another. We simply hope that reading this guide will help you have a pleasant, sexy, respectful, and safe experiences with a sex worker. Now, this booklet, um, what was your role with this particular booklet? 